Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I thought I would just do my makeup. I've got a few new products to try and I mean, you'll get to see if I like or not. I feel like the smile on my face gives away how I feel about these makeup products. If you guys do watch my videos, you'll know that I'm very specific about the makeup products that I like. I don't really sway from my usual routine, but today I just thought I've got a load of new things to try, so why not try them out for you guys? I have linked all the products that I used in the description if you do want to pick anything up, if you like what you see, blah, 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 blah. Enough of me waffling. I hope you enjoy the video. Okay, I have a lot of new makeup to try, which I'm really excited about. Pretty much all the cream products on my face are going to be new ones that I've never even tested before. So I'm looking forward to that. Fingers crossed they work because I'm going out after I film this video. Not like anywhere special but like I'm going outside, so hopefully they look all right. Okay, so the foundation that I'm using is from Kaya. I believe this is how you pronounce the brand name. I actually have a lot of new products to try from here because they sent me some things very kindly, not like in collaboration with this video, like this isn't sponsored at all, but I just thought the packaging is beautiful. I think that is such nice packaging. It's like frosted glass, it feels, very expensive, I like this. So this says it's Dewy Drop Serum Foundation, hybrid foundation with boosted skincare actives such as vitamin E, glycerin for moisturizing, blah, 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 blah. So seamlessly blends and blurs your skin for a dewy look with a velvety natural finish. So that sounds right up my street. Um, the shade I'm using is 20W, so let's give it a try. If I look at this, it's one of the, it's like one of these dropper things that you got that. I feel like doing this in a white, brand new jumper probably isn't the best idea but maybe i'll just like not drop it i'm just gonna like kind of put it on my face without using the dropper thing okay i actually think i'm gonna have to use the dropper let me be really careful i'm not entirely sure how much i need to use so i'm just gonna put this kind of amount on and then if we need more we can put more on let's see how this blends out oh wow First of all, the shade match is literally perfect, no? It's also really, really lightweight. Like, I don't really feel like I'm putting anything on my skin right now, which I really like. I will say I'm not really a fan of the dropper. I much rather just, like, a pump or, like, a paddle kind of thing. Like, you know what I mean? Like, you can just wipe it on rather than having to drop it on. But the actual product, I love... I absolutely love this. I think it's really nice, really nice look on my skin. The real test will be like how my other makeup goes on top, blah, 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 how it wears, but so far, so good. I don't know why I'm putting that back in the packet. I actually have two different concealers to try. So this one is the Kosas, 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 uh, just concealer. It's in shade 3.5 W. I have never used any Kosas products, but Kosas, I don't know how you say it. So I was, um, but I've seen really good stuff on social media about it. And then I have another, oh, that's not concealer. This is the concealer. This is the Front Row Luminous Glow Concealer from the same brand that the foundation was from. Again, the packaging on this is so beautiful. Like, I love the silver with, like, clear packaging. And then this is the... Kosas one. I also have a new beauty blender from Kaya. I'm gonna say it's Kaya. It makes sense to be Kaya. So I'm gonna wet this and use this to blend out my concealer. Okay, so this is the beauty blender now that it's damp. It's expanded so much. It does feel a little bit cheap. I don't know. I, it just kind of feels, I can't really explain how it feels, but it's not, it doesn't feel expensive. I'm gonna use the Kaya concealer under my eyes and then the Kosas one like in the middle points of my face. I'm just going to put on the same kind of amount as I normally put on. It's definitely not as light as I normally have my concealer, but that's fine. It's nothing about the actual concealer. That's the problem. It's just the shade. And then I'm going to put the Kosas one in the middle points of my face. Okay, the colours for both of these are definitely too dark for what I normally like, but that's fine. We're trying new products. These just aren't the correct shades, in my opinion, for my skin. Okay, I'm just going to blend the middle ones in first, just bouncing the sponge over concealer. Okay, the concealer is blending in so nicely. I guess it could be a combination of the sponge and the concealer, but what I will say is that the sponge is soaking up a lot of product. Can you see how much concealer is on this beauty blender? I feel like that's not 
ideal because obviously if you put product on your face you want it to stay on your face and this is kind of just going on the beauty blender again this is blending out really nicely it's a very kind of seamless lightweight feel okay in terms of how this concealer is looking it looks really good okay so far i'm really liking the way that my skin looks it's obviously very dewy i'm gonna set that down but i mean everything's kind of living up to what it says it should so no complaints so far now we have another product from kaya this is a bb stick i don't know if this is meant to be a bronzing stick but i have it in a really dark shade for myself so i'd use that as bronzer obviously again the packaging i love it's also i feel like it's magnetic because look which i love i feel like it's a very expensive looking packaging the brand like i think all of it is very cohesive very nice it's aesthetically pleasing we love and it helps it so far i've really liked the products i don't know whether i'm gonna apply this to my face i think i'm gonna do that and then see okay i'm just gonna do a little bit on my cheek we reckon that let's try i like the color i think i'm just gonna apply it on my brush and then stamp it on my cheek yeah that's definitely a better way to do it first impressions i really like the color it's definitely a bit warmer so it's definitely like a bronzer shade rather than like a contour but that's absolutely fine it's also blending out really nice really easily i love that i always think with the contour bronzer kind of thing it's very important that it doesn't dry down really quickly because if you have put like too much on or you just need to blend it out it's obviously difficult when it dries so i like this is really creamy really light i'm just going to take a little bit down my nose just to bronze that up as well okay that's all my bronzer applied i really like it also love the way my skin is looking still i don't think it's disturbed anything nothing's kind of moved it's all still looking really nice and seamless this is shade 40w for reference so yeah for blush i have this liquid blush from beauty bay this is in shade spring it's such a pretty pink color it's almost like a pinky nudie peachy color so i'm really excited for this it's a very thick formula to be like in a bottle i don't know i'm gonna put the tiniest bit on like that <laughs> and then see if that needs more or if that's enough okay i feel like it's quite sheer when it goes on so i can definitely put a bit more on i just didn't want to do the classic like put way too much blush on okay i feel like that's probably enough and i'm just gonna really lightly kind of dab it in and blend in this upper kind of section of my cheek i love this color i feel like it's really really pretty it also goes with like the bronzer color really well i'm just gonna put any excess over my nose okay just before i set my face i thought i'd give you a close-up of the cream products and how they look on my skin definitely very glowy <laughs> greasy some would say but i love that i definitely wouldn't leave it unset it's definitely too shiny even for me i would say because all the products have literally been like dewy products but i am so impressed with this base it literally looks so nice i'm just using the same two products that i normally use to set i've not got any new powders or brightening powders or anything so this is the huda beauty easy bake setting powder in shade cupcake and then this is the charlotte tilbury airbrush brightening flawless finish powder in white i don't know is it white i think it might be like shade zero or shade one it's very light it's actually white i'm just gonna re-blend my under eyes obviously before i set i'm just using my ggb sponge which is the one that i normally use to set and the difference is these are so soft that's not soft to the touch this is very soft i prefer this oh my god no i've just realized that i had a highlighter it's a cream highlighter though so now i've powdered i'll do it on my nose i'll try this on my nose but i can't do it on my cheeks because now i've powdered them and it will go weird i'm just adding a little bit more brightening powder than i normally do just because the concealers weren't quite as light as i normally have them I have a kind of translucent, I don't know if it's translucent, transparent, sheer, um, pressed powder. So I thought I would just set my kind of middle of my forehead and maybe under my chin with this to give it a go. This one is the Kosas Breezy Cloud Set. I'm guessing cloud, mm, 
I think Cloud Set is the product and Breezy is the shade name. I'm just going to take this on my Real Techniques 242 brush. I don't know how much to use. I'm just going to kind of dab it and then set. Okay, that's nice. It's not taken away all of the like shine. It's left it looking still dewy, but we're not greasy, shiny anymore. I'm also going to set my eyelids with this just so when I do mascara, it doesn't like transfer onto my lids. Okay, that is all my setting done. I really like the way my skin looks still. I'm really impressed with these new products. I'm just going in with my normal Sigma bronzer in shade Light. I love this bronzer. I've not got a new one to try. So I'm just going to go in with this with a very light hand. I'm not doing too much because that cream bronzer actually has given so nice of like a so nice of a colour. Such a nice colour that I feel like I don't really need much more bronzing but just a little dusting. Again I'm using my normal blush which is the Laura Mercier blush in Bellini and I'm just going to do a tiny bit of this again. The colour of the Beauty Bay one is really nice and I can still see it coming through so I don't need crazy amounts of this. I'm also using the same highlighter on my cheeks that I normally do. This is the Too Faced Moon Crush highlighter in shade Shooting Star I think. I just love highlighter. I feel like it gives the nicest glow to your cheeks. It's just something I love it. Okay, on my nose, I'm going to use the Merit Day Glow Highlighting Balm in shade Carver. This is how it looks. I've swatched this on my hand before, but I've never actually, like, used it properly. But it looks like a really nice colour. I like the kind of pearl look. So I'm just going to take this on my little dense brush and just put it the same places that I normally do highlight my nose. Oh, that's pretty. That highlighter looks really nice. I just need to contour my nose because I actually forgot to do it. So I'm just going to do that now okay this is my base done i actually have a setting spray to try this is from kaya it's not got quite the same packaging it's like a pinky plastic packaging definitely feels cheaper i would have preferred if it was in a packaging like this obviously but what can you do so this is the that dewy look glowy setting spray and it claims i wonder what it claims to do it says this dewy mist gives your complexion a luminous boost the setting spray is formulated with actives to create that dewy look. A two-in-one setting spray that helps make, that helps to set and me melt the makeup together. Why did that take so long to come out of my mouth? Okay, let's give it a try. Actually, I'm going to see what it smells like first. Okay, it smells quite perfumey, which I don't think I like, but let's just give my face a spritz. The one thing I'll always have in my makeup bag is a fan because when I'm doing my setting spray it helps to like melt it all in. It almost smells of like rose, I don't know if there's rose in it. Not that I can tell but it smells quite floral. Okay so this is the final base. I am really impressed if you couldn't tell. Okay here's a little close up for you of the base. I am so impressed. All the products have worked really, really well together, which was kind of what I was afraid of because sometimes products don't kind of melt together like ones that you've tried before do. Okay, my brow product isn't 100% a first impression, but I've only used this once. This is the Refi Brow Sculpt. I tried this in my trying Refi products video and I liked it, but like I wasn't blown away. So I thought I'd give it another go. Don't get me wrong, I did like it when I used it, but I wasn't like completely blown away and thought it was something completely brand new that I've never tried before. It's just like a good brow gel. While my brows are just setting down, I'm going to give my lashes a quick curl just to kind of get them started. My eyelashes are so stubborn, so I have to kind of curl them about three separate times. I'm quickly just going to fill in my brows and I'll be back. Okay, eyebrows are done and lashes have been curled. Now it's time for mascara. I've got my same one i truly believe this is the best mascara i love it it's the maybelline the full seas volume express waterproof mascara i love it it holds the curl on my lash so well which to me is so important because my lashes as i said are so stubborn any chance they get to like fall down they will but with this mascara they just stay up all day so if you've got stubborn lashes like me i'd definitely give this a try i think it's like nine pounds as well 
Now time for eyeliner. I'm just going to do a tiny bit of eyeliner, but I'm using my same one as normal. It's the Collection Fast Stroke Longwear Liner in Brown. Last but not least is lips. Now I have this liner from Kai again. It is shade Louisa. Very close to Louisa. Cute. But I don't know if it's my shade. I'm going to try it. This is what it looks like on my hand, like swatched. So it might be like an eye shade. I feel like it's a little bit dark, but we can work with it. I'm just going to overline my lips like I normally do. Okay, in terms of formula, it's not very creamy. It's quite like a like a pencil almost. I feel like I'm pressing quite hard to get the colour off, but once the colour's off, like it is quite nice. Do you know what? I actually quite like the colour. It's very similar to my like natural lip colour. Like, I've not put any lipstick on or anything and it's not like a massive contrast, which I actually quite like. It did warm up a bit when I was putting it on, so I feel like if you just warm it up on your hand or something before, it comes off a lot easier rather than like, scraping. But it wasn't like crazy bad, it was just not that that creamy but if you prefer like a stiffer lip liner this would be really good for you i don't have a new actual lipstick so i'm just going to use my trusty matte naked lipstick from primark i love this lipstick so much okay this is the final look i love it i'm obsessed like i think it looks so nice it does look very similar to my normal makeup but that is like kind of what i would want because I like my normal makeup, so the fact that these new products I've tried have basically just replicated what I already, already like have, I love. I'm literally just staring at my skin, my face, the way it looks to try and find something that I don't like just so I can have a bit of contrast rather than being obsessed with everything. But I actually can't. It looks so good. Like, I feel like I'm up my own ass right now, but wow. I will definitely be reaching for some of these products again, without a doubt. I'd probably say my favourite three new products that I tried were the foundation. I loved this. It also helped. It was the perfect shade, like everything like that. So love this so much. Then the bronzing stick thing. I love that. I think it's such a nice consistency. It went on really nicely. The colour is beautiful. And then the blush. I love the blush. I think it's such a pretty colour. It's very subtle, but I didn't put too much on. Definitely could build that up into something a lot more intense if you're like a very, if you love blush. I did love these concealers. It was just the colour. If I had like the lighter shades, I normally have the lighter shade of concealer. Um, if I had the lighter shades, I would absolutely love them and probably just put them straight in my makeup bag to be in my routine. But just because they're not quite light enough, that's why. I probably would just keep them for concealers if I ever just want to chuck a bit of concealer on. Or maybe if I get a tan this summer, then they'll be perfect. But I'm not holding my breath. I also really liked this Kosas powder. Would I say it's anything like revolutionary? No. Is it good? Yeah. I wasn't blown away, but did it do its job? Did it work as a powder? Yes. The setting spray I actually really like. I feel like I'm cheating on my Charlotte Tilbury, but I love this. I think it's really nice. I definitely would, maybe if I was not going to do my makeup to go out, if I just had to like film some bits or if I just wanted to do my makeup to be in the house, reached for this instead of my Charlotte Tilbury because obviously that's a very expensive setting spray and I could just keep that for like more special occasions because this has definitely done a good job. The highlighter stick I really like. I want to try it again on my cheeks because obviously I only tried it on my nose and the nose isn't like a perfect test because I like to see my highlighter kind of like when I'm staring at the front. So I want to try this again on my cheeks but so far I like that. The beauty blender I probably wouldn't reach for it again to be honest. I've got my GGB beauty blenders and I think they're better so I probably wouldn't reach for that again. Yeah but like it worked. Okay, so this is the final look with my hair down, like taking the clips out. Also, I bought these clips from Amazon because I did have pink ones, but they just weren't my vibe. I want a black one. So I got these and they're really good. They don't leave like a kink in your hair, which I love. So yeah, they were like five pounds, I'm pretty sure, for like 10 clips, which I think is quite good. I hope you enjoyed this video. I really liked filming. I've definitely found some new things i'm gonna put in my makeup bag which is a massive thing for me to say you guys know but if you did enjoy please like and subscribe it means the absolute world and i hope to see you in my next video love you